Um, so talking about um, using banality, uh, avoiding banality, um, such as you know, if you go to the door and you knock on the door and somebody opens the door, but there are some instances where you do use banality um, and, and you postpone the inciting incident. And I just wanted to ask about that. Um, when you use banality as kind of like um, holding on and then surprising the audience. If you and I are talking about banality in the same way, um, I, I get the gist of what you're saying, that we actually uh, use banality as a, as a delaying device um, of, um, <coughs> of, uh, uh, to create a lot of suspense and tension. But it's really not banal in that sense because uh, the only way banality would create suspense is if you had uh, used a little dramatic irony and let the reader of the audience know that while this woman is washing her dishes, something as banal as that, the um, intruder is stalking around the house looking for an, uh, some way to, to uh, enter and uh, surprise her. I mean, that the suspense... That the um, that the banality is is uh, uh, creating is excruciating only because we know something that the person who's committing those um, banal acts doesn't know, um, and in that case, the, it's not banality anymore. It's it's now a stalling device by the writer. Um, <clears throat> uh, true banality is something that is really meaningless, that is so trivial that it has no sense of, of importance or value or, or um, even, um, uh, in this case, just a stalling device to keep, um, uh, to keep uh, uh, the, um, the audience or the reader in suspense. And so, um, and so there are shades and degrees of banality. The banality that, um, that I would complain about is meaningless. It has no purpose. <clears throat> it doesn't um, serve any use. It, has, it is uh, as trivial as it is in, in everyday life. And so banality as a delaying device is a different thing than banality as banality.